Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and Teaching Witchcraft and Tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Quick message as I did forget to integrate this. The beginning of the video, you're going to hear music. Why? Because it is crucial and very important to get you in the mood to focus. And I would primarily focus on listening to music that gets you going as well as gets you focused. So you want a song that is a representation of how you want to be viewed or how you want to be made to feel. Very important, forgot to mention it. Here I am mentioning it. Let's get into the video. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. Here we are, as promised. I told you guys that I was going to be hooking you guys up with all kind of spells that we have left and right, just so you guys are aware. So definitely click that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. I will be uploading tons of easy spells for you guys, as well as more complex and difficult spells for those of you guys that are a little bit deeper into the practice. So we're going to kick this off. This spell is particularly for those of you guys that are currently dealing with the situation of no contact or if the person has um, or if the person has recently fallen off the map, they're not communicating, they're not reaching out They're whatever the situation is, whatever the reason that they're not communicating, this spell is for you now. It's very simplistic. All you need is three red tea lights or pink, a three-day candle, red or pink, a pink or red rose. Now, you're also going to be needing some cinnamon. You're going to be needing some nutmeg. You're going to be needing a red marker. You're going to be needing some incense, preferably dragon's blood or uh, cinnamon um, or love uh, incense, but preferably, you guys already know if you've been following me for a while, dragon's blood is the shit to go when we're talking about domination, when we're talking about um, influencing someone. So we definitely were using um, some dragon's blood. I already have that burning in the background, as you guys can see. Not sure if it'll show here, but anyways... All right, so this is a three-day a three ritual. You're also going to be needing some type of oil. You can use Come To Me oil. You can use uh, Love Binding oil. Any of my oils that I have online, I'm going to be using the Come To Me oil. Uh, we sell these on our online store. You can find all of that on the link below in the description box. You can also use the uh, Love Binding oil if you have that, if you've purchased that from my store. Again, if you don't have those, you can use Come To Me Oil, you can use uh, Love Oil, any type of Love Oil is going to help you in this process, okay? Now, if you did purchase uh, my Come To Me Oil or the Love Binding, these this oil specifically for these types of spell works, okay? What you're also going to be needing, you're going to be needing a little bit of, I'm not sure if you can see it, a little bit of coffee grains and a little bit of sugar, Okay. And the reason why we implement coffee in any type of spell work is to uh, create the restlessness, okay? And that's that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. Uh, the sugar, obviously, to sweeten the situation, the cinnamon to facilitate almost as a precipitation uh, ingredient, the nutmeg for love or to create love feeling, and the love oil, obviously, to do its thing to bring to us the person, okay? So... We're going to put this to the side. I do want to mention very important in this spell. You need to get a rose that has the thorns. Okay. And the reason for this is I will show you. The thorn is specifically used for this spell so that you can use the thorn engraving the name of the person in the candles as well as what you want them to do. So as an example, the tea lights we have come to me. I'm doing this for a client. There's no contact. This person has completely ghosted the client. Um, so you're going to write down, come to me, right? Call me or text me, whatever it is that you prefer. We are using call me, okay, on three tea lights. 
And on the candle itself, you're going to write down the person's first name, their last name. If you have their date of birth, you're going to put their date of birth on there. And on top of it, you're going to write down what you want them to do. Okay, so as an example, I've already instructed this candle um, to call my client and to reach out. Okay, so again, do not skip this. If you don't have, I know that sometimes uh, we don't grow our own roses and it's more difficult to get roses with thorns. However, you do, you do need the thorn, okay? The thorn is the domination aspect to the spell. So you can't skip that, okay? All right, and of course, you're going to be needing matches. Now, this candle is a three-day candle, but it is meant to burn for two days, about 30 minutes. And then on the third day, you're going to let it completely burn out. Okay. The candles, the tea lights will be turned on when the ritual is first beginning. Now, why are we using the rose? Because we're using the thorn of the rose to create and integrate the domination aspect to it. But we're also going to be loving on the rose. Okay. So before we get to that, let's get to the nitty gritty. What are we going to do? You're going to write down in a parchment paper your partner's name and last. You're going to write this down three times. Like I said, if you have their date of birth, you're going to write down their name, last name, and date of birth. Okay? DOB is for date of birth. Okay? Once you do that, you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to write down your name over theirs. You're going to write down your full name and date of birth. You're going to do this You're going to do this going down 9 times. Okay? So let me show you guys again. You're going to write down their first name, their last name, their date of birth three times across the parchment paper. Three times. Then you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to write down your name, your last name and date of birth going down nine times. Okay. Once that is done, you're going to get the marker and you're going to go around the names stating what you want them to do. So as an example, you can write down, and the important part to this aspect is that when you're writing it, you're not going to lift the marker, okay? Do not lift it. If you lift it accidentally, then you're going to have to redo the parchment paper. Very important, you guys, okay? So as an example, I would write, you cannot rest or sleep thinking of me. You will text and call me. You're going around the name in a circle. You're going to text and call me. Profess your feelings for me. And you will not rest until you are in my arms again. Okay? Like that. Like I said, do not lift the, the marker when you're writing down around the names. Why, why is it so important, Pinky? Why is it so important to not lift it? Because you are creating an energetic pull towards this person. So if you lift it, if you accidentally lift it, it means you weren't focused and you just broke that transmission. Okay? So that's the reason why. All right. Once you're done with this, what you're going to do is you're going to get whatever love oil you're using. In this situation, I'm using Come To Me Oil. So we're going to use some of the oil and we are going to 
dab the four corners, okay? So then when you're doing this, you're going to call upon the elements. I the north element of earth. I call upon I call upon west the element of water. I call upon the south element of fire. I call upon the east element of air. I ask the spirits and guardians of the north, west, south, and east to assist in the spell that is about to commence. Once you do this, you're going to then fold the paper towards you, always towards you. Whenever we're bringing something to us, we're bringing it towards us, okay? You're gonna turn it to the right. You're gonna turn it towards you again. You're going to turn it to the right again, and you're going to bring it towards you again. All right. Once this is done, you're going to pass the parchment paper all over your body, from your head all the way till your toes, okay? You're going to pass it all around you so that you can be able to draw in your energy into the petition. Once this is done, I'm going to put this to the side really quick, as we've already commenced here. Now you're going to get the part of the the part of the rose that has its thorn. You want to cut it. If you're able to just use it with the rose, then that's fine. But you don't want to damage the rose. So my advice would be to cut it so that you can then use, as you guys can see here, the thorn. And you're going to engrave the name of the person if you have their date of birth. You're going to engrave that with the thorn the rose thorn then you're going to write down what you want them to do come to me or call me or text me okay then you're going to get the tea lights and you're going to do the same thing with the rose thorn you're going to engrave call me or text me whatever it is that you want them to do once that is done then we are going to go ahead and I've already consecrated you guys make sure that when you're using candles make sure that when you're using whatever ingredients you're going to be using you want to consecrate them you want to empower them cleanse them so that they can be ready for you uh for your use okay very important i'm skipping this step because if you guys have been following me for a while i've already taught you guys how to do that all right once that is done we are then going to dab some oil I am dabbing the come to me oil from our shop. You're also going to be dabbing that on the candle. And like I said, it's very important to remember the first two nights that the ritual takes place, you want to burn the three day candle for about a good 30 minutes to 40 minutes. You don't want it to complete to completely be consumed. On the third day is when you light it and you no longer uh, no longer interrupt the work. Now, please understand that when you're burning it, you do never want to blow on the candles. If you blow on the candles, you just broke the intention. OK, so what you want to do is you want to snuff out the candle, whether with the spoon, whether with the snuffer, do not blow on it and you're going to relight it the very next day. OK. Once this is done, then we're going to add some of the nutmeg on all four candles. We're going to then add a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon is always used uh, to create fast acting energy, okay? All right, once that is done, then you want to intentionalize, always intentionalize. I cannot stress this enough. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this three-day candle with these three tea lights for my clients. In this process, you want to use whatever enchantment you use. I will then follow with the... Um, enchantment that we use specifically for the candle 
and the rose, okay? But give me one second. All right, my loves, once that is done, you're then going to add the coffee with the sugar to all three tea lights as well as the three-day candle. Okay. All right, so once that is done, we're going to get, let me get the real petition here. You're going to put the petition paper underneath the candle. You're then going to follow. You're then going to follow by placing the tea lights, one at the very top and two at the bottom. Why? Because we're doing a triangle. It's a triangle of energetic pull towards this person. And you want to keep the thorn that you're using for this spell work in case you want to later on do more spell work for this specific target, it empowers. It creates domination over their mind and spirit. Okay, moving on. Once you're done with that, you're going to give love to this rose. I want you to place this rose in your hands and you're going to speak to it. You're going to say, Beautiful and enchanted rose, I ask you to loan me your love, beauty, and grace to be able to open up and flourish as I receive the love of so-and-so. Once that is done, you're then going to speak to the candles. Crimson candles bright with fire, I ask you to bewitch so-and-so with desire. I ask you to bring them to me to have them crawling on their knees, having and wanting nothing more but to Okay. Wanting more or wanting nothing more than to please me and to be around me and to desire only me. Once that is done, then we are going to light the candles like i said the tea lights you're going to let them burn out completely the three-day candle you're only going to let it burn for about 30 minutes to an hour give or take you're going to light the three-day candle whoops One second, you guys. And I know I get asked, uh, I asked, or I got asked in another video, why do we use uh, matches? The reason why we use matches is because it is old witchcraft, you guys. You don't want to use anything that is, you know, like steel as lighters are. Once that is done, my loves, you're going to, like I said, you're going to let the tea lights burn the way they must. This three-day candle at the center, you're only going to let it burn for about 40 minutes to an hour. Make sure that it doesn't completely consume itself. If you see that it's burning rather quickly, then do it for 30 minutes. The next day, we're going to do the same thing, except you're no longer going to light the tea lights because by then they would be consumed. So you're only going to light the center candle for the next coming two days. It's a three-day ritual. So once you do that, and on the third night, when the candle is completely consumed, what you're going to do is once this candle goes out, you're going to get that, uh, then get the parchment paper and you're going to burn it. Once you burn it, you will 
basically you can keep the ashes or you can blow the ashes in the very entrance of your home that is going to help them lure them or bring them to your home or to your vicinity and the rose you can keep it i always try to teach you guys to really hone into the energies that you're already like instructing to do certain things as an example if this can or when this uh rose has uh completely weathered i would just keep them uh, until they're completely dry, I would put them away in case I need them for later on. Do you get what I'm saying? In case you want to do other work, other love workings on this individual, then you can use it. And it already has the intention. It already has the empowerment. It already has the energy in it. So it just makes it that much more stronger. Anyways, for the next coming two days after today, when you light the candle, you're going to say the same thing. Crimson candle bright with fire, bewitch so and so with desire. Have them want nothing and think of no one or anything other than myself. Make them come crawling to me, having the need and desire to be around me, to keep me happy, to give me love and attention, whatever it is that you're trying to do. You're going to then hold the rose and you're going to speak love into it and ask it to loan you, to give you the beauty, the grace the enchantment that it has and that it put, that it um, that it uh, carries so that it can loan you that energy. So every time this person sees you, they are drawn to you. Every time this person sees you, they can help to notice your beauty, your radiance, your energy. OK, very important to do it. Extremely focused. Please, if you do this, come back, comment below. Let me know how it went. Now, I assure you guys that if you do this, as always with all my spell works, if you do it with intention and with purpose, the results are going to blow your mind. And you're probably going to put this in your, you know, shadow book, shadow book or whatever it is that you, you know, write down the spells that you try out because it is a marvelous and very powerful spell. Now, ideally, you want to do this on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Friday. OK, ideally in a new moon or in a waxing moon. We are in waxing energy right now, especially as we are getting closer to the 21st, which is going to be the full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is an earthly energy. It is about grounding. It is about longevity. So if you want to do these types of love workings around this time, it is perfect timing because it is giving you or it will give you more longevity to your spell work before it runs its course, okay? I hope you guys enjoy. I wish you the very best. And if you do try it out, like I said, comment below. Let us know what your experience was so that you can encourage others to try it out themselves. I want to wish you guys the best. If you got, like these videos, like, share, and comment so I can keep bringing them to you. Uh, next video will be a little bit more complex spell. So we'll get to that at that point in time. I'll see you guys till then. Bye.